Uh, just wanted to give you a quick update on my tank, uh, like I put in the uh, previous post. The tank is looking really good. I'm liking how it's turning out. Like I said in my post, uh, the first I filled it up last Wednesday, and I checked the pH on it on Thursday, and it was off the chart. My pH testers didn't uh, didn't register. I know it was just didn't match. So I got one of the regular uh, chemical pH test kits right now, and the uh, color was so purple. I think it was. I emptied emptied it out now, but. Um, it was so purple, it was way off the charts. And I actually have some test strips also, and the test strips were way pink, I think is the color for the test strips. So, But I, like I said, I got a digital pH gauge coming in. So the, uh, there's my skimming filter that I've made out of my power head and water bottle. I've got some filter floss, which is actually just polyfill for, that I got from Michaels with some carbon in the in the center between the two sections of polyfill so it seems like it's been doing pretty good so that first first set I did it was uh, pretty pretty gritty you know it seemed like it caught a lot of the grit from the seepage or from the leaching so got uh, one of the there's one of the air pump or air stones it goes up and I was actually surprised at how well it moved the water I only got one filter running right now and that's my 100 or my 110 my aqua, aqua, aqua clear 110 and you can see the water movement that it's putting out right now also <clears throat> I'm looking to get another one here in the near future a buddy of mine's got one for sale so I'm gonna probably hook that up and it'll be over on this side you can still see a little bit of the of the minerals that floating around on top along with some bubbles but uh, got my other air stone or one other air stone down in there uh, it's not working right now. The gang valve that I bought actually is faulty. So if I open that valve up, I lose air to this side. So I actually had some replacement gang valves on order. I just bought some cheap ones from Walmart. They didn't work out too well. So there's another air stone back in there. And the bubbles actually flow around the rocks pretty nice. And then another air stone down there in that corner so power head outlet right there the power head I'm using for my uh, skimming filter is the one that's going to be mounted in there once I get the fish back in here and get the rinse done so and all these big rocks that I got down here these are actual real rocks I put them in uh, to go along with the rinse cycle just in case they wanted to seep anything. I had them in the tank before so just kind of doing a, a rinse cycle on those as well just to, just to be on the safe side. So I haven't got my substrate yet looking at the substrate source.com that I think it was Lord Adamar posted about. Um, I do have some free samples coming from them like uh, some some of the uh, black sand and also the coffee sand I'm gonna see which one kinda goes goes the best uh, gonna need about 700 cubic inch worth of substrate to get it up to the level of the two two layers there on the bottom maybe create some mounds here and there so the rocks I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the rocks they take up a lot of area so I might pile them up in one section or or something I'm not sure I'll figure something out looking at the uh, the way the lighting is I kinda like this 5000 bulb I think I might go buy a 6500 color temp bulb just to see how it turns out uh, the 5000 is actually really nice looking um, it worked out or it brought brings the colors out a little bit better than a 10,000 the 10,000 seemed to turn everything kind of a grayish blue or bluish gray um, kind of lost the brown on a rock with it so 
looking at probably doing I'm not gonna be doing any live plants or nothing so as far as you know photosynthesis or anything like that it's not gonna be a big deal I just want something to really bring out vibrant colors especially in the fish so eventually I'll get some some yellows and some blues for cichlids uh, I don't know the scientific name right off the bat I'm sure some of you guys do though so <laughs> but I think I think the black sand will look really good on this with a with a 6500 color temp bulb now as far as the lighting like I said in my post I'm looking the uh, I just got one of the regular four foot bulbs you know just a regular four foot fixture I'm thinking about stripping all this out and then putting in a uh, four of the CFLs wiring it up with four CFLs maybe create a little bit more shadows maybe some shimmering of the water on top so we'll see what happens with that so but this is the update as I got as it's sitting right now uh, tested the pH earlier after doing after draining it yesterday like I said in my post um, the pH is actually sitting about 8 8.2 the my tap water is 7.8 coming out according to my test strips or not my test strips sorry to, according to the liquid test hopefully my digital meter will get back or get here this week sometime so we'll see what happens with that but uh I'll get some more accurate numbers I'm not gonna put fish in until I know for a fact that the pH is stabilized and uh, you know I'll go from there so that and I gotta get substrate as well I'm looking at probably sixty dollars worth of substrate so going from that substrate source so. so let me know what you think post comments questions whatever you know if you got ideas for substrate let me know before I order some so any ideas on the lighting what I what I could try or what I could do I'm a DIYer type of guy so let me know about the lighting I'd like to eventually I'm gonna build a wooden hood for the aquarium so I'm always open to options for lighting. So, but other than that, I think it really looks good. And get a quick side shot here to show how deep it is. And really like how the bubbles are kind of creating a little curtain right there. So we'll, uh, that's about it. We'll talk to you guys later.